Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to uninstall or remove multiple MySQL servers from Windows machine. In previous video, we learned how to install multiple servers. So now, when we need to uninstall those servers or services from a Windows machine, first of all, we need to see what services we have. Let's see. We go to the services. And here you can take a look, uh, click on uh, anywhere and then hit M. You can see these uh, different services. So you can see that uh, you have MySQL 2 and uh, MySQL AD. Those are the two services uh, uh, which are there and you would like to remove them. So if you want to connect, uh, these services are there. And uh, one of the thing uh, in previous video, I told you if you would like to uh, uninstall the MySQL from uh, Windows machine you can use add remove but only in the case when you have installed that uh, MySQL by using Windows installer here are these extra uh, MySQL uh, servers uh, we installed by different uh, method you have seen that we have copied those uh, different files and folders into different and then start the services and etc so these ones we have to remove kind of manual uh, here you see that uh, we do not have any uh, mysql uh, server here that we can just click here say uninstall it we don't have it this is workbench this is not the uh, actual this is a graphical user interface this is not a mysql server so these services these are extra uh, servers we have installed if we want to take a look like these are really working services you can see one of them uh, is uh, uh, in the running condition like mysql 2 and I can go there and uh, then we can go to the server status and you can see that it is a uh, run in uh, and uh, uh, some connections are there pretty much everything is uh, uh, running uh, so uh, this is one we would like to remove uh, both of them actually so in this case as we cannot remove from the control panel and uh, these are the extra servers we installed by manually we have to remove them manually uh, you will be going to the registry for that so first of all you will be here I have uh, written a path where we need to go so we will we'll go to the H key local machine and then go to system then go to current control sets and go to services and that's where we will remove it the one of the other thing uh, here I want to show you as we uh, install these um, uh, MySQL as uh, manually uh, the, we created these folders here so look at this folder MySQL 2 so we I created this folder yeah, if you remember in the previous video I have shown you how to install multiple MySQL uh, servers on Windows machine so we always create this uh, folder then move the files and make some changes to the my uh, INI file and then uh, uh, start the service so that's how we install multiple servers on same uh, uh, MySQL servers on same machine okay so we can come back and delete them after we remove the services because we don't need them anymore so it's your choice if you want to leave them there you want to use that later sometime fine if uh, you don't want to uh, need you don't need them anymore you can delete them uh, the uh, removing services probably would not uh, remove that uh, folder okay so we go to the registry edit so what we are going to go we are going to go to the run in the run we are going to type registry edit dot exe and it will open the registry and here we will go to the H key local machine then we will go to the system and then we will go to the current control set and we will go to services and here we will go to the all the way that start with M because that's our MySQL right so you see right here so we have MySQL 2 and MySQL AD so I'm gonna go ahead and right click here and say delete yes and delete yes okay we go back to services uh, and if we refresh the services uh, these services uh, you can see the status uh, description change fail to read description error code too so you can uh, tell from here like okay these are uh, removed okay now one more thing we would like to do let's go back to the uh, workbench and see if we can still connect with the uh, MySQL and I can pretty sh give you um, assurance uh, it will throw us error saying uh, it's not there so if you see it right here it's in still there <laughs> I don't believe in that like we have uh, deleted from there and it's still showing us uh, so probably um, it has queued this one we, what we will do we will uh, restart that one let's uh, see if we can delete from here as well 
okay so we don't have option uh, to delete from here so let me stop this service we go to registry edit again let me see if uh, I go right here okay now if I will try to restart it okay so it's a thrown error because we have deleted the service so uh, good idea to stop the service and then uh, um, um, delete it okay go back to the workbench and try to connect again now if we will try to connect still we can see let's see what status it is saying okay now it is showing us the uh, status stop so it's not there anymore if you refresh no, nothing is happening you can see that okay good so services are um, removed so we don't have uh, these uh, servers anymore there if we go to the folders the folder is still there so as i was saying like okay good idea to remove that folder so just right click on that one delete and uh, let's see this is another folder i was using for another installation i deleted both of them so we are all good here now one of the thing is still you see these services here in the uh, services list so let's uh, do one thing we can uh, uh, restart our system and I will take care of it okay how we can uh, restart because I have uh, I'm using uh, Microsoft Azure and uh, these are um, I can uh, I remote it to that machine so I can hit uh, this is my machine name tech Brothers IT and I can uh, restart so yes restart and uh, restart virtual machine okay so it is working it's gonna take maybe a little bit uh, most of the time 30 seconds okay that's uh, restarted we go to connect every time uh, you reconnect uh, restart uh, it to uh, create a new ip for you sometime you have to uh, reconnect download that uh, remote desktop file and uh, reconnect okay let me refresh okay now if we refresh okay now hit connect and uh, now we'll do it we'll uh, rdp to the that machine and uh, see if uh, the services uh, mysql services are removed so when we have multiple servers installed on one windows machine uh, then um, that's the way to go so services now look for that m and we don't see any mysql okay so that's how you will clean the whole uh, mysql uh, multiple servers uh, from your windows machine if you notice that here i am using windows uh, 2012 so there would be uh, no difference uh, uh, if you are using uh, uh, sorry i'm using uh, windows uh, 10 pro professional so you can use a uh, windows uh, 2012 you can use a uh, windows 16 that will be pretty much the same steps what we have taken here and thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video